so today we are going to discuss about uh, how we can add one feedback or survey into the to the course so in order to add the feedback we have to follow the same process as we followed in other uh, activities so let me log in with administrator and when I log in I have to choose my course first so I choose my course here course here and uh, ensure I have enabled the editing on if it is not on so I will not be able to add any activity or resource to the course so we can see that the editing is on and in order to add the activity click on add an activity or resource and here you can find the activities so we have to add today we are going to discuss about that how we can create one survey so that the student can fill up the detail and uh, submit so it is similar to other activity the way we have added uh, only we have to see that what is the difference and what are the necessary points to be selected or set in the setting so that it receives the uh, uh, input from the students so I click on survey and then I click on add so when I click on add it will get added to the particular uh, course but before that we have to fill up the detail so the survey na name I am just adding the name as feedback feedback on Moodle course and uh, survey type what will be the these are the default survey type so I am choosing the coalesce actual and uh, here I will describe submit the feedback with your uh, input on or before a uh, you can give and date thanks and uh, this will be the description of this course and if you want this to be displayed so it can be displayed on the course page now we have to set the common module setting that is the available uh, it will be available on the course page and the ID number I am leaving blank as we have discussed in the previous activities also that this is for advanced uh, option we will be discussing in other videos and uh, about this then if you want to have restriction on this feedback so you can do you can set the activity completion and if you want tagging so you can tag it so suppose I add one tag like feedback so likewise you can add and then click on save and return to course so it will get added to the course page now we can see feedback on Moodle course and when we click on this editing option so we can see all the uh, points in this feedback or in this survey these are all the uh, default points which students or user are supposed to answer which is divided in the relevance uh, reflective thinking interactivity tutor support peer support uh, interpretation so which has all 26 points so these are the default question and very pertinent to the uh, the theme which is taken like whether the content is relevant or not so there are four questions similarly there are four questions in reflective thinking and then uh, interactivity tutor support peer support so it is planned in such a way or it is uh, defined in such a way that a user gives the um, uh, honest feedback or this survey will collect the feedback or input from the student covering all the aspect so that the quality and uh, if there is any point which is not covered so it can be covered and submitted so let us uh, log in as a student I just uh, log out here and I log in as a student first 
so when i log in as a student i have to choose my course and i can see that my feedback is available uh, on my page dashboard in the course so i just click on this and the difference you can find that there it was showing some other option also but here it is restricted only i am supposed to fill up the or mark the answers so like not at answer by default all the questions will have the radio button enabled not at answer so it is up to you that how you are going to answer uh, all the question you can read and accordingly you can select the red radio buttons and in case if you don't want to answer any question so you can leave it as not it answered so here everything means um, choose all the questions and accordingly you set means mark the answer and then submit it so up to 24 i have answered and then you have to means uh, choose uh, how much time did it take you uh, know in, uh, giving your input so it just suppose three to four minutes and if you have any further comment regarding this feedback or the course uh, so like i give very impressive course for the student so this is my feedback as a student and finally i click on continue thanks for answering this survey dhanvantri and i'll continue so i have submitted my response here now the let us check at the administrative uh, in so i log out and i again log in as a administrator and when i log in as a administrator so i have to choose my course first and then i have to choose my feedback so here i can see only enrolled users are able to submit survey it is not open to all so we can notice that one survey response is available so i click on one survey response so you can see the summary of this feedback on moodle course so you will be getting if more than one user has submitted the feedback so you will be getting the summary accordingly so this is the process of adding the sum, uh, survey to the course or create the feedback so in next video we will see some other activity how we can add for making the course more interactive and also to collect the feedback of user on different activities so thank you for watching this video let's see in next video